For ACUsports.com, I'm Grant Boone here at Gallagher Iba Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where ACU has knocked off the Cowgirls of Oklahoma State in the first round of the women's NIT, 66 to 56 the final. We're with Susie Demba and Coach Julie Goodenough. Susie, let's start with you. This was a game that your team fell behind 13 to 3. What was going on in the locker room and the feeling in those early moments? You're down 10. I mean, we kind of were turning the ball over, so we knew that we were down because of mistakes we did. It wasn't necessarily anything that they were doing, so we just had to make sure we kept our composure and knew that if we stuck to the game plan, everything would be okay. Coach, a team with without four seniors who've seen a little bit of everything may not respond to that early deficit like these girls did, you think? Maybe? Gosh, they, our, our team as a whole just uh, showed so much poise tonight. And, and like Susie said, I mean, they've played enough together. They realize that, hey, we're not getting beat right now. We're beating ourselves. And so they just did a better job of executing on offense and taking care of the ball and getting the shots that we wanted. Um, you know, we, we were giving up some high percentage shots because our turnovers were resulting in transition layups. We felt like if we get back and defend, we, they would have to work a little bit harder to get shots. So, you know, they, they corrected themselves pretty quickly. And um, I, I appreciate them doing that. I don't have to burn timeouts early because on the court, you know, the seniors, they just kind of correct themselves. Susie, before the game, your coach had a little different look in her eye than I, than I sometimes see before a game. There was a, a quiet confidence, and there wasn't overconfidence, but there was just confidence. Did you sense that as well, and did you feel it? Oh, I felt it. I knew we were not going to lose this game. Like, Why? I, just because I just had a feeling like I wasn't, this is like I was not even fearful. Me and Lizzie just kept talking about it. Like, we knew we were going to win. Like, no spring break, we're winning. Like, there was not a doubt in my mind. This is spring break. I know. No spring break for me. I got to play basketball. Keep playing. Yeah. Uh, this It's fun, though. It's like spring yeah. break. You get to keep playing, going to all kinds of cool places. Uh, Julie, this was a game in which your team won each quarter by at least a point. And while you never stretched the lead further than 13, they never got it closer than eight in the fourth quarter. What does that say? I just credit our players for keeping their poise. Um, it's the best our zone defense has been all year. Our players did a great job with that. We knew that we would be in trouble the more they were able to feed their bigs inside, and we thought we could prevent that a little bit by being in a zone. And what it did is it made them work the, clock, the ball so long. You know, it kind of shortened the game for us because they had to work so hard to get the ball into their big player. Helped us when uh, 54 got into foul trouble. Uh, they didn't have as quite a big of a presence inside. But, you know, our team just continued uh, getting stops. And then down on the offensive end, they didn't really have an answer for Susie driving. Um, Lizzie and Sydney both did a great job going by bigger, faster, stronger inside. And, you know, I think just poise and the veteran experience that our seniors have uh, was a, a huge factor in our success. But I'll tell you what the X factor was, was Bree Wright, mm -hmm. our freshman point guard. Uh, we had Susie and Sydney in foul trouble. You know, I, I guess I didn't even take her out. I don't even know when I do that. <laughs> I mean, she plays 40 minutes, and she hit tough shots. She didn't get rattled when she made a mistake. One and turnover. She, it, she was the X factor. She, I mean, I can count on my seniors to kind of do what they do, but uh, Bree's a freshman playing in, you know, the biggest game of her career tonight, and she was really the X factor for us. She was phenomenal. Incredible, though, you think about all the games she's played this year against Missouri and Texas A&M and Baylor. Uh, Susie, last thing here um, for you. There were a lot of 50-50 balls tonight, and, and the image that I think I'll, I'll always remember is you streaking down the court. I think Maybe of the 10 players on the court, eight of them may have touched the ball at one point. You rip it out of the air and go streaking down court and lay it in. There was an intensity tonight, wasn't there? There definitely was. We were just, we knew that we had to win this game. Like, this game means a lot. Like, the seniors didn't want this to be the last game that we ever play, and we knew what we had to do to get it done. So, if it means getting the ball while everyone else touches it, that's what I have to do. ACU wins at 66-56 for the first time all year. All five starters score in double digits, and now ACU is on to round two of the WNIT against either Louisiana Tech or SMU either Sunday or Monday. For Coach Julie Goodenough and Susie Demba, I'm Grant Boone from Stillwater, Oklahoma, where ACU is victorious tonight by 10.